Welcome back to Wings Motor Co. Let's do something a little different. So if you've been around our channel for more than a day, you know that we do motorcycle related content, but today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I have a show coming up this weekend and something I pride myself in is my merchandise booth. And if you guys didn't know that we have merchandise, man, do we have merchandise. We actually just got in a brand new t-shirt with the Wings Motor Co. Will logo. Got the new logo on the back there. We have this super sweet shirt with the shop shirt. That's uh, AJ, our dog at the bottom, and the motorcycle that is at the Peterson Museum in LA. And we got the spark plug logo t-shirt. And we got what we call our shop shirt. It's got the Wings Motorco on the front and the winged wheel on the back. We also have hats, stickers, shop rags, all kinds of cool stuff. So if you are interested in grabbing some merch from us, head over to the website, wingsmotorco.com. With that, we have a show coming up this weekend. We just got that new shirt in, and a challenge that I've always had is displaying t-shirts. Now, you've probably been to an event or a show or a concert or something, and you see how they display their merchandise, and you know, you have the folded shirt on the table, or you have it hanging up on a rack on the back, or God forbid it's in a pop-up booth and they just hang it on a hanger on the outskirts and it's blowing in the wind. I never liked any of those ideas. So I wanted to build a display where the shirt would look like it's being worn. So you have an idea of what it's gonna be like as you're wearing it yourself. So that's what we're doing today. We're making a t-shirt design. Maybe you have that shirt from U2 in 1989, that concert shirt that's just super cool and you wanna build a little display to have it up in your house or rather than sticking it in the back of your closet. Well, this is the video for you. We're gonna build this display and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it with all of these simple items. The stand that we're gonna be making today is actually going to hold four t-shirts, those four t-shirts you just seen that we have. So all of these items need to be multiplied by those numbers. If you are only making one sedan for that Death Leopard concert that you went to, you would divide these items by four. So what we have first is an 18 inch piece of half inch black iron pipe. Now I actually have four of those. Then we have eight of the eight inch half inch black iron pipe. We have eight of the half inch black iron caps. We have four of the half inch black iron tees. And then we have four of the half inch black iron base plates. Now something you'll also need is obviously some screws. Uh, you'll need a screwdriver or a power drill. Uh, obviously a tape measure, a marker, something to mark out those measurements. And we're gonna use a blowtorch. That's gonna be a special little thing. The last thing you'll need is obviously the base for this. And I have a piece of half inch thick by 12 inches wide by 48 inches long piece of pine. These are all the items you need. So let's grab up this base plate and figure out our measurements to figure out where we're gonna put these base plates at. Let's get to work. All right, so before we get started, here is the overall idea. We're gonna take our base plate, screw that piece of 18 inch pipe right into the base plate so we have a nice base to screw down to the wood. Then we're gonna take our T and we're gonna screw it into the top of it just like so. Take one of our pieces of eight inch tubing off to the side, the other piece of eight inch off to the other side. And lastly, we're going to screw on the end caps so that it finishes this thing off nice and neat. And what we are left with is this nice T-base that we can screw down to the wood that will drape the T-shirt over. Now, we're going to be putting four of these across this board, so we need to grab our tape measure, we need to grab our marker and figure out the distance so that each one of these shirts will be evenly spaced and you'll be able to display all of the features of those shirts. Let's grab that tape measure and make some measurements. 
So the table that we're going to be setting this display on top of is actually six feet long. So I have plenty of length of distance. So what I'm going to do is measure six inches from each end to place down our first base plate. So we're gonna mark that out. And then what we'll do is we'll divide the center section by three. Why three? There's only two of those. Well, there's three empty sections between the two outside posts. So we'll do the math and mark this out and get these ready to screw down onto our wood. with our 48 inch long piece of wood, we've discovered that if we leave a six inch space on the outside, so we can have a little bit of hangover, that we have 12 inches of space in between, which is a perfect measurement because it's a foot. So now, next process is take that drill and we're gonna sink down these screws, securing the base plates down to the board. Let's do it. with many of our projects we do around here, we try to utilize stuff that we already have laying around. And these screws are actually one inch drywall screws, which means that they're a little bit longer than the thickness of a board. So we have these sticking out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our grinder, grind down all these spiky points so that we can move on to the next step of this process. Let's grind these off. The next portion of this project is where we're going to be finishing out this wood. Now, a lot of my different displays in my booth already have a burnt wood finish. So that's why we got the blow torch. Anytime you're working with fire, you might want to make sure that you have a fire extinguisher. And obviously you want to be in a well ventilated safe area. So we're going to go ahead and lift the garage up. As we burn this, all of the grains in the wood are gonna pop up to the top and it's gonna give this really warm filling to the wood. So let's get to going, let's burn this wood and we can move on to the last portion of this project. Like we said, obviously, if you do not feel safe or have a safe place to do that process with, you might want to choose painting it. Maybe you're putting that t-shirt up in your living room on display. Paint the base to match the rest of your furniture. Uh, I could have also sealed this and varnished it, but you know, at the end of the day, these are just displays for t-shirts at different events, so it ain't gotta be that fancy. Now, let's throw these little T-bars up on here drape some t-shirts on and wrap this video up. And there you have it folks, pretty easy project for displaying your t-shirts. Whether you're an entrepreneur like me trying to sell your merchandise at events, or you have that really sweet old t-shirt that you're trying to display in your home, it is an easy project to do. With that, we're gonna wrap the video up. If you want to grab some of this merchandise, head over to weemsmotorco.com, check it all out, sign up for our Patreon. All those patrons get 20% off of every order that they have. But with that, if you are new around here, jump down and hit that subscribe button. If you really like the video, hit that thumbs up, turn those notifications on and let everyone know what's going on right here at Weems Motorco. Peace.